All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about the five biggest mistakes that I see traders making and unfortunately, repeatedly making these mistakes. All right, everyone, I'm lead trainer with Stocks Trade, Tim Bowen. If you bet on Stocks to Trade Advisory, which used to be called pre-market prep, but it's still live every single day, 8.30 Eastern, click that link below to check it out. You know, uh, you know, listen, people love, love pre-market prep. Um, I've had thousands and thousands of amazing, you know, comments and testimonials. People love it. But the one complaint I get is, well, 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 two. Uh, the, the biggest one, though, is repetition. You know, a, a lot of people will get a little frustrated because I do flat out. I mean, listen, I'm doing it on purpose. But, you know, a lot of people are like, it's just drilling the same stuff a lot of days. Not every day, but a lot of days. And I'm like, yeah. Because you 90% fail. I mean, I, I think 90% fail in trading. I think when you narrow it down to penny stocks, momentum stocks specifically, I think it's more like 95% fail. And again, the reason I get rep so repetitive is I'm trying to drill these things in. I mean, listen, you can tell people cut your losses early a million times. My buddy Tim Sykes did a video. We'll, we'll probably link it. I think he did like an entire seven minute video of him just screaming cut losses quickly, but people still let their losses run. Okay, they'll watch that seven minute, however long it was, of him saying cut your losses quickly, and then they'll still the next day or later that day, they'll still be adding to a loser, letting it bleed them out as it makes new lows on the day. So that's why I, so much repetition. And today is a lot of those concepts. And then the second thing I get, uh, the, the 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 quote unquote bad comments are the rage okay yes yes i probably should consult a rage counselor but nevertheless i'm a nice guy i just get fly off the handle very easily so that being said let's talk about the the five things that i see people making right off the bat not doing their own research and having their own process and just blindly following others okay that is so huge. Now I get it. If you're brand new, uh, and I started there. I mean, I started out in chat rooms. You know, Twitter wasn't around when I got started, or if it was, I got started in 2007. I think maybe there was like a hundred people on Twitter at that point. But I was in the chat rooms. I was on the newsletters, and I was like, "Hey, this guy says this. This guy says this. I'm going to follow." You know, number one is it just the biggest thing is it never works because you don't fully understand the thesis behind the trade and you always justify when they are losers. And, and again, you start saying, well, Joe said this, Jim said that, Jill said this. You know, it's a diffusion of responsibility at the end of the day. That's one of the biggest things I don't like about alerts is, you know, and, I, and again, I did this. I was like, well, again, Joe said, Joe, 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 you know, I'm down 500 bucks, Joe, I'm down 700. Joe, you know, so it, 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 so, you know, now you're doing it, uh, unknowingly. I don't think, you know, I, again, I made this mistake. I wasn't knowingly doing that, but again, it, it creates that lack of responsibility. I, what I say is own your trades. Okay. Own your ideas, do your research, do your process, because then you got nobody else to blame. You can't yell at Joe if you went through your own process and set your own entries and exits, et cetera. Now, one thing I will say, I do, and this, after that rant, this may be a little counterintuitive. I do think there's value in alerts for newbies, but this is what I want you to do. What you're doing, you're not trading those alerts. Don't trade alerts. What you're doing is reverse engineering. Okay. Right now, SIDU is the number one short squeeze out there. It's headed back towards the high of the day. I think this would be amazing if it pushes through nine. So let's say that was an alert. Hey, SIDU through nine, risk on VWAP, goal 10 plus or something, okay? So you, you get that alert. What I want you to do is reverse engineer why, okay? Why was SIDU the idea? I'll give you the reasons, okay? Number one, they had this amazing news yesterday with NASA. Um, space is hot right now. Again, government contract tied with NASA is always big. Um, ridiculous volume yesterday. And I'm talking about the idea today. I mean, yesterday, this thing traded 102 million shares already today. It's the middle of the day. It's trading 70 million shares. Who knows? Might trade 150 million today. News, volume, 
chart confirmation, big breakout over that $5 level, okay? I mean, look at this thing. This thing hasn't been above five for almost six months. So you got a multi-month breakout, plus this thing's a recent issue that got destroyed. I mean, look at that day it started trading. Think of the bag holders that now see this news and hope springs eternal. Okay, volume, uh, news, hot sector, chart pattern, there's your idea behind SIDU. That's a process I teach in the Steady Trade team. Check out the Steady Trade team. Maybe you've seen the worksheets. Maybe you've been on a webinar. We step right through it. Um, next thing I see is using too much size. I mean, this is always one of my most unpopular statements. People hate this. Hate it with a passion. If you're new to trading, you're not here to make money. <gasps> Like how it like 90% of people just close this video because they're like, shut up, dude. But hear me out. If you didn't close it yet, hear me out. You're here. If you're a new trader, you're here to learn a process, a methodology, and your goal is to con get consistently profitable. Okay. To where you now have a system that you can win a majority of the time. 51% of the time, okay? Listen, if you keep your, I mean, people get confused by win rates a lot. You don't need a crazy win rate if you keep your losses small, okay? But what are you here for? You're here to learn. You're not here to make money. Again, I can see the viewers dropping off as I talk, but 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, lose 20, make 30 bucks, lose 10, make 100 lose 110, okay? That's what you're looking to do because, and maybe you've heard me say this before, as a new trader, your number one priority is staying in the game, okay? You buy 5,000 shares of SIDU and it drops a buck and you got six grand in your account, you're now down five grand and it's all over. You got $963 in your account now because you had too much size, okay? Focus on the process. Focus on consistency. Don't try and make money. Again, I'll keep going even though nobody's watching anymore. Um, last or not, third thing is not analyzing your trades. Um, there's a million different ways to do this. Um, the Steady Trade podcast, we're no longer doing the podcast. It kind of reached its maturity, but the, all the videos are there. A lot of videos on the Steady Trade or podcasts on the Steady Trade podcast talking about tracking trades, how to do it, how to use spreadsheets, how to use Profitly, how to use K-Info, how to use TradingView. There's a lot of great resources out there, but track your data, okay? This is a whole separate video. I'll move on, because it's a 20 minute video talking about how to track data. But again, we got videos, but do it, do it, do it. I've got, I've shown them before. I got a stack of paper notebooks this tall from back when I got started. I like to do it on paper. Track, track, track your data. Uh, ultimately, you know, hope. Uh, hope isn't a strategy. You know, I mean, listen, going back to the story I told before, I mean, if you're holding a loser and you're adding to a loser and you're, and you're basing that on hope, hope that there'll be a chat pump, hope that there'll be a Twitter pump, hope that the market will turn around, hope that Jim Cramer will mention the stock. No, okay? Have your process, your stop, your goals and stick to them, okay? Hope, I mean, you, you can, now listen, I start out the day always very positive, always hope, you know, a lot of hope, a lot of excitement. You know, be excited about the potential, be excited about the opportunity the stock market involves, but when you're in that trade, pff, there's no room for hope. You own it, stick to your stop, stick to your goal, stick to your plan. Um, last thing is not doing your mental analysis, okay? Um, journaling, okay? And when I say journaling, whether you do it by hand, whether you open up a text document, 750 words is a great resource. Um, I did that for, geez, almost four or five years where you uh, wrote 750 words a day. I use Evernote, but tracking your data is important. Tracking your trades, tracking your entries, your exits. But you got to understand your mentality too. And back to the hope thing, man, I've had some of my biggest losing days on like days, like, like bad days. And when I say like a bad day, I slept like crap. Maybe I, you know, got an argument with the wife. Maybe the kids were pushing my buttons. Maybe, you know, somebody cut me off in traffic. You know, and it's just, it's just like that bad day 
mentally. And all of a sudden, now on top of that, you know, I had the, the losses all over the place. So again, positive attitude, but also track your attitude. I mean, again, and something, I mean, in, in, and it may seem minor, but it's like, listen, if you, you're journaling and you're thinking about these things, it's such a great way to grow. I mean, Google it. I mean, basically every peak performer, you know, every peak performer, well, not every, 99%. I read a lot about peak performers, okay? Go on Tim Ferriss's podcast, Joe Rogan's podcast. So many of these peak performers are going to talk about journaling, talking about introspection, talking about menta uh, meditation, and getting your mentality right. All right, everyone. Speaking of getting your mentality right, check out the Steady Trade team. I'm live every single day, twice a day, three times a day, sometimes four times a day. And you're, I'm always there to debate ideas, to talk you through, to maybe pick you up. Okay? Listen, losing days are part of trading. Um, I really pride myself in the coaching that I do. Check out the Steady Trade team. I think it's a great way to become a better trader.